what is going on guys it's your boy Hiroki here and i am back with another episode over on the archon for the skyblock versus series now if you guys missed the last episode we're actually doing a versus series against mesoid royal robbie and dr candyman and of course in the last episode you guys saw at the end we took the lead and it still hasn't changed your boy is still winning but not a whole lot has actually changed on the island since the last episode that is going to change today i have an entire agenda planned out for today's episode and a lot of stuff i need to accomplish but before we hop straight into it, I want to make sure you guys are connecting to the Archon using my IP. Use the IP heroic.archonhq.net. But I have already done enough talking. Let's hop straight into the episode. Alrighty, guys. So like I mentioned in the last clip, your boy's still on top. But if we actually go into a deeper view on my competition, you'll see Royal hasn't even placed a single spawner. He's currently at number 253 with zero points. But if you check his stats, he has been online for like seven and a half hours, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, seven hours and 20 minutes. And he's been doing stuff the entire time. So I have no idea what he's doing. And then Robbie also has zero points and Mesoid hasn't even logged onto the server which i figured going into this map it would be Candyman and royal as my biggest competitor and obviously i was right but the whole purpose of today's episode is actually go ahead and make the most money possible and expand my lead on those chumps so what i did off camera is actually go ahead and grind out the mob heads so if you guys didn't know in the slash shop you can only purchase spawners after you grind so many heads so you had to grind like 200 of these like 500 of these 800 1000 like 2000 that actually took a couple hours to do but now if I go back into the shop, I can actually purchase Mythical Spawners, which is an Iron Golem spawner for $21.1 million. So I'll go ahead and just purchase one of those since I do have 40 million. Now we have 19 Iron Golems and we should have gone up a little bit of island value. But that is not the point of today's episode. I'm going to be making the number one farm on the server as a solo. And now a little birdie actually went ahead and told me that pumpkin farms are absolutely insane. It's the new meta. So as you guys can see here, this orange square, I have a two by two laid out that goes all the way from Y1 to Y level 255. Now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to start working on a pumpkin farm just to see how much money it makes. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the pumpkin farm. There is no way I finish this thing in today's episode. I mean, maybe if I really want to no life it, but like this is going to take hours to do. But I just want to go ahead and test it out and see how much money it truly does make. Because if we check Royal's Val, he currently has $72.4 million, and I kind of need that. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the layout and bring you guys back. Okay, guys, this is what one layer of the farm is supposed to look like. And like I said, it goes down to Y1 all the way up to 255. So there's like a lot of layers. And this right here probably took me like over 10 minutes. Because if you think about it, you have to place all the dirt. Then you have to water it, then you have to till it, then you have to plant the seeds, then you have to wait for the seeds to grow. And my mind is just going crazy and that took forever and I'm already on a lack of sleep, oh my lord. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do is actually just start working on one chunk. So I'll probably go all the way down to the bottom and start working on this chunk right here. Start to slowly stack up the layers and hopefully that makes a lot more money than doing all of these all at once. And if you guys want to go ahead and copy this and you are a solo, I do not recommend doing two by two chunks. Like I kind of bit off more than I can chew. This is going to take a lot of time and resources, but I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Probably pull up some Netflix or something. And just watch that while I'm placing dirt. Got a hole in the hand. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut back here in a couple hours with some progress. Wish me the best of luck. Okay, Jesus Christ, boys. It's five hours later and the farm is almost finished. Just kidding. Look at this thing. Oh my God, guys. I literally want to cry. I want to rip out my hair. I want to jump off a bridge. All in game, of course. And to make it even worse, apparently this is not even the best way to make money. Woohoo! Heroic's an idiot. Who would have knew? So pretty much people were talking about sugarcane in chat. So I went ahead and asked a fellow YouTuber. His name is Ross1. I said, Ross, like, why are so many people talking about sugarcane? I thought it was a pumpkin economy. And the dude straight up says, no, it's sugarcane. As I've done 15 layers for two chunks like this took me five hours just for 15 layers and two chunks like guys there's no way i'm going all the way up there so what i think i'm actually going to go ahead and do is cut this farm entirely in half and make the entire right side sugarcane and now i actually would have done this sooner but i thought you had to actually harvest sugarcane for it to go into the farmable chest but no that is not the case the sugarcane automatically grows and goes into the chest so you can literally just afk it and now i'm literally going to be so far behind royal and dr candy man because i'm pretty sure they're doing sugarcane farms as well and me being an idiot said hey, i'm gonna be different let's do pumpkin so on the two sides that we actually do have pumpkin we have about 4,000 pumpkins in the chunk which really isn't too good if i go ahead and find my cell one somewhere Go ahead and sell let's see how many is actually in here so we got forty thousand pumpkins in there go ahead and sell it for 1.2 million we got about 156 in there so we sold that for about five million which that really isn't too bad okay i take it back yes it is that took five hours i made five million dollars like oh, i'm gonna cry well i'll go ahead and cut back when the sugarcane farm is finished 
all right so guys it is now the next morning i logged off last night or technically this morning like three o'clock in the morning working on my sugarcane farm for the next five hours after i did five hours of my pumpkin farm so i'm kind of sky blocked out but if i go ahead and flip around the sugarcane farm is looking so nice and as you can see down here it's not even finished i'll go ahead and finish that up today so i have been pretty much no lifing skyblock for the past two days trying to gain a lead over royal and dr candyman now like i said i logged off at three o'clock in the morning it is now noon the next day i logged on if i see tab royal and dr candyman are still online guys i'm exhausted now i remember why i don't play skyblock but i actually did go ahead and afk all these farms overnight and let me tell you they have so many crops inside of them it's gonna make me so much money so i actually go ahead and pull out my cell wand real quickly let me find it okay let's see the pumpkin farm has been afk the same amount of time as a sugarcane farm so if we go ahead and see there is 870,000 pumpkins inside of both of them and now we actually have five chunks of sugarcane so let's see how much in every single one of those there is 1.3 million in every single one of those so i'm gonna go ahead and sell the pumpkins real quickly let's see 27 million and another 27 million all right now let's see how much the sugarcane sells for let's see 50 million another 50 million oh my goodness 50 million 50 million oh my lord boys i just gained so much money i have 365 million dollars just from overnight afk and it wasn't even a full night like like i said i went to bed at 3 a.m oh my gosh and these things aren't even finished yet once i go ahead and make this go all the way down to bedrock it'll be making us so much more oh my goodness i was not expecting that but i think i'm actually gonna go ahead and pull a big brain move so over here on the origins realm mob coins are so important they're like to die for so the only way to get mob coins is actually by grinding them or actually fishing them up and as you guys know the mega rod from factions is super op on origins as well so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this money and actually buy a mega rod off someone so i'm gonna go ahead and cut back here in a little bit once someone is offering a mega rod and uh let's get straight to fishing Alrighty, so it's actually been a little bit and i've been working on the bottom part of the sugarcane farm and i am still unable to purchase a mega rod from someone now apparently they are that rare that no one wants to give them up which is uh not a good sign for me so i went ahead and i just actually purchased a apprentice rod which is like the middle rod it's a third tier and there's five tiers in total so this is gonna have to do and then obviously i've got my fish backpack and i've got a fish trap as well and i've actually ranked myself up a little bit i'm almost at the crystal cavern the only thing lacking right now is the 75,000 mob coins and then once i get to the pirate's cove i'll probably be making so many mob coins it's insane so i'll go ahead and do that off camera for the next episode but quickly before i end off this video i want to go ahead and show you guys something as you guys know i have my two vindicator spawners up here and actually make so many gold blocks like these are all full of gold blocks so i'm actually gonna go ahead and find a little area to go ahead and place them because as you guys know these are used for place value so you want to go ahead and actually place them so your is level goes up and there's even more gold blocks in here so i will go ahead and find a place and cut on back okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and place all of my gold blocks at y level one but this item right here the stacker one is so insane it pretty much places all the blocks for you so go ahead and do slash stacker real quickly and click on the gold blocks of stacker to 10 i believe that is the max limit i just go ahead and right click it blocks just automatically start going and now i'm literally just going to make a massive platform down here go ahead and use all of these blocks up because i do not want them taking up any more room in my chest so once i start placing all of these gold blocks all the dubs i have i'll go ahead and cut back okay so i'm back and i actually went ahead and placed all of the gold blocks now this probably took 10 or 15 minutes since i had i think six dubs it was and my island levels went up about two or three million i believe as well we're sitting at 25.36 million but i think in the future i'm not even gonna waste my time on placing gold blocks i'm just gonna use the infinity chest that i showed you guys pretty much all you do is get an inventory of blocks go ahead and place them in here literally just deposit your entire inventory and it automatically goes to your island levels so you literally don't have to place any of those so i don't really know why i did it but it is what it is a festival is starting so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing that so these stacker ones are actually so useful for so many different things this is actually how i've been making this sugarcane farm pretty much fill up your entire inventory of dirt and go ahead and just start right clicking and go along now this takes an extremely long time because then after that you have to go back and start placing sugarcane on top of all this dirt so these farms are definitely not easy to make this will take me probably another five hours to finish which is the last thing that i want to hear right now so hopefully i've got this thing finished for the next episode and i think the next episode i want to go ahead and start working on fishing because mob coins like i said earlier are so op but that is going to bring us to the end of the second episode of the archon origins versus series if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already connect to the archon using the ip heroic.archonhq.net and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out